Joshua was 21 years old and lived in Lagos, Nigeria, trying to make a living selling mobile phone parts. His life was difficult and he lived in poverty. The offer of 2,400 pounds, work, and a place to live in the United Kingdom was a dream come true. He was overjoyed. He accepted immediately. Little did he know that within weeks of coming to the UK, he would be in a hospital where his kidneys were going to be harvested. And do you think he had any choice the moment he arrived illegally on UK soil? His life may have been difficult before, but it was better than living through hell. Joshua was a victim of the heinous impact of human trafficking. Now you're probably asking yourself, who's this man? And why is he telling us all about this? I'm an anti-money laundering expert in the financial services industry. Sounds cool, hey? There's me busting up gangs and exposing crime. But in reality, I spend most of my time looking at client numbers and information. Not all of these numbers and information are legitimate. They're lies. Behind these numbers and information, there is always a story. Some of these figures are hiding stories of beatings, rape, and the theft of human beings. So what do you think of when I say the term money laundering? You probably think of some dodgy phone shops that never seem to have any customers, or greasy takeaway that's so dirty, it's almost telling people not to come in. People don't often stop to ask themselves, where is all this money coming from? All this money that's been laundered. These made up client data and accounts. And what's the story behind them? It's so much grimmer than any of you could probably realize. Now, let me be very clear. Human trafficking is money-driven. It is an industry. It is an industry of greed, which profits directly from human misery human suffering and the theft of that thing we call life. It is a global industry. It is a global industry that preys on vulnerable people. And it happens all across the world. Here in the UK, and I bet, even in the town in which you live in. And let me tell you, it is very rife and endemic. Human trafficking is an industry that involves criminal gangs. People are beaten, raped, and exploited. 
People are forced to smuggle drugs, to launder money, and are forced into slavery. Let that sink in. Slavery here in the UK. I have two daughters, two daughters who I love with all my heart. But when I look into their eyes, my heart breaks. My daughters are loved and cared for. For so many other girls, their lives are not so fortunate. Let us imagine a 15-year-old girl who lives in a war-torn country. Her father is told that if he gives his entire life savings to smugglers, they would help her get to the UK and she'll be given work. Blinded by desperation, he does it. He gives everything he's ever earned to criminals in the hope that it will save his daughter from what the war promises. But on the journey, the very same people who took his money repeatedly rape his daughter. She's smuggled to the UK in a refrigerated van. Refrigerated vans are often used because they lower your body temperature, making you invisible to the police's thermal cameras. But it is so cold that people often die. And those who survive have to sit quietly next to corpses. The girl is then delivered to a house. It could be anywhere. She's made to sleep on the floor. She's forced to sleep with paying men. She's forced to clean for a middle-class family. But she isn't paid for her work. She is told that if she tells anyone, she'll be deported back to her war-torn country. She's told that if she tries to escape, they would kill her father. This girl is stuck. This girl is stuck in modern slavery. The money made from her, the cost of her body, the profits made from the men who pay to rape her, the profits made from cleaning for the middle class family. All of her suffering is reduced to a number on a spreadsheet. And just in case you're wondering, it's not unusual. It happens a lot. While girls are mainly trafficked for sexual exploitation, boys are normally used for forced labor. Recently, you may have heard about the story of Mo Farah, who shared his own experience about slavery. I keep on talking about numbers. So here are some numbers for you. Here in the UK, the total number of people trafficked between April to June 2022 is 4,171. Trafficking doesn't have to be cross-border. It sometimes happens within the confines and boundaries of countries. 
and even within a town such as Northwich. 31% of slaves in Britain are British nationals. You probably think to yourself and say, this doesn't concern me. I don't see this happening in my neighborhood, so it's not my problem. Let us imagine a man. Let's call him Tom. Tom is a human trafficker. He goes to the same cinema. He eats at the same restaurant. And maybe your kids go to the same school as his kids. Or maybe you have him as a friend on social media. People like Tom use public transport, hotels, and the banking system to illegally exploit people. And it happens right under our nose. Human traffickers hide in plain sight. Human trafficking is an evil and heinous crime which strives and exists right under our noses. It is hidden in our homes and basements. So what can we do? Well, this is why I do what I do. I dig behind the figures to find the stories to expose them. And here are some things that we can all do. Recognizing that it is a problem that exists is the first step. Ignorance should not be our defense. It is happening right here, right here. Now, secondly, what can we do as a community to stop this crime of human trafficking? Would you know what red flags to look out for? Well, we can start by looking out for these red flags. Are there many people living in confined places? Are employers holding on to important documents? Are there signs of abuse or people speaking on behalf of others? I have been working in anti-financial crime for 12 years. And yes, it's taken its toll on me. And yes, it is difficult. But am I going to stop? Absolutely not. I'm going to keep on digging through those numbers and crunching the information to expose the filth of these criminals. Let us show we care for the defenseless by paying attention to the signs of abuse. Let us show the human traffickers that together we are more powerful than they are. And let us be the voice 
shouting loudly for those whose voices have been silenced. Thank you.